Uh, my name is Jonathan Pitt, and I'm 12 years old. I live in Ottawa, Russell to be more specific. Okay, and um, now you suffer from something called EB. Tell us about that. Uh, EB is the, the like, short name for it. The real name is Epidermolysis bullosa. Really not a name. Uh, EB is a condition that affects the skin. Uh, what it is is that skin will rip off. It's not just your regular cut. It's a big sore that lasts for a long time and is very, very hard to heal. Uh, so for the bandages you put on, you can't just put a regular band-aid. It has to be special bandages. So EB is also a thing that um, affects inside of you, like your throat. And what that does is that uh, with all the blisters that go in your throat, sometimes you'll have a harder time eating. So EB is a thing that affects pretty much everywhere. And now, um, tell us about the kind of um, bath that you go through every day. For me, I have to take a bath. I can't take a shower because the water will hurt. That's how sensitive it is. Um, for me, a bath takes two hours. One hour inside and one hour out. What I do is that I um, get in, soak, take them off, get out, put them on. So it's like taking them off to putting them back on. It's a very boring and painful procedure. Um, and now you're in grade 7 now. Yeah. Um, and what do you tell other students about uh, your condition and, and how, to, how to deal with it? Uh, for me, what I tell them is that um, just to treat me like a regular person, not any different than you guys, because really, we aren't that much different. The only difference is, is that we have uh, physic issues. So. Aside from that, we're just like you guys. Okay, and um, tell me what you wanted, uh, what you'd like to do after school. Once, once. Uh, after school, I usually try to relax, uh, since I have to do a two-hour bath right after. Uh, it takes lots of energy. You usually have to eat something pretty big before you go in, because it's not it like really zaps your energy. So after you're done, you just want to sleep don't want to do anything else. How does, how does EB affect your life? EB affects it in many ways. Um, it affects it for school and it affects it also um, just on a regular basis. Uh, sometimes I'll have good skin weeks and sometimes I'll have bad skin weeks. Good skin weeks is when the sores are a little bit less painful but nonetheless it's always painful. And um, also, it'll like make me be able to do many like more things than I would if I would have a bad skin week. Um, sometimes the bad skin week can affect my throat. Sometimes it can affect my feet, my hands. But the bad skin week is usually everywhere. So really, it affects all around. And, and so, what happens on a bad skin week? A bad skin week. Um, well, the sores will get bigger and more painful. During that time usually I'll be on Advil and if on a rare equation I'll have to have a stronger medication. Um, and, and what can you not do on a bad skin week? On a bad skin week what it can do sometimes would be like eat normal things. Um, I won't be able to do like gym in school or play around with my sister or my friends. Um, so, on Good Skin Week, I'll be able to do those things, depending on how good it is. How does uh, your friends react to your condition? Are they, are they helpful? Are they, are they making fun? Are they... Um, well, you, have all, you always have those ones that do make fun, but you have those ones that are helpful. And the way they react, um, well, at the beginning of the year, when I talk to them, um, I always tell them to treat me like everybody else, so they try their best to do that, and it's rare they see some staring at me. Usually they're good at asking questions, so it's pretty good. Once they know, they know and they just forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good.